I hope everybody's doing well. In Jesus' name, I have a major rapture update. Um, on November the 6th, um, at 5.30 p.m., um, I have DirecTV. Well, my, my kids were watching DirecTV. I came home, and the TV stopped working. So I checked my DirecTV receiver. You can check the receiving power. There's a way to go into your settings and check it. I checked all the satellites. There were zero, zero, zero. Every satellite was zeroed out. Not a single satellite was receiving transmission. Zeroed out. Then I called DirecTV. This happened around 5.30 p.m. when I called DirecTV on November the 6th. Also, let me know if this happened. Put this in the, uh, the comment section. Tell me if you experienced the same thing. Tell me what country you're in. And tell me if this happened with you. Whether you had DirecTV or DISH. Any type of satellite TV. Okay, so what happened was um, the only thing that could cause you to zero, it tried to come back, eventually came back. It, one of the satellites was like 37, 40%. It was in the red zone. It eventually came back. It was out for like 20, 30 minutes. It eventually came back. And I, I went back up to 100%, 95%. And rain can't cause this. Um, trees can't cause this. It's zeroed out. I have a strong hunch that I've located the red dragon and it's now gotten close enough to planet Earth where it's affecting the satellites. The red dragon, I believe, is a dwarf star. It's like a sun. It's glowing red. And just like in Amos 8, it's going to, the sun's going to go down. And in Matthew 24, it says the sun is darkened, the moon turns to blood, the stars fall. Well, you think about this. The, the sun, the moon reflects the sun. So if the sun is blocked with a red star, a dwarf star, then the moon will turn to blood. It's glowing red. And then the stars will fall. So this is the dragon. I have a strong hunch. I found the red dragon. And it's on its way to Earth. It's really close. And let me know in the comment section if this happened. And in Revelation 12, it says um, the red dragon is trying to devour the child. It wants to devour the child. And God snatches the child up to his throne. Devour means to kill. A lion devours its prey. A tiger devours its prey. Devour means to kill. This red dragon is going to kill people. And the stars are going to fall. The moon is going to turn to blood. Just like it says in Matthew 24. It says the sun is darkened. The moon turns to blood. And the stars fall. Then, then the next sentence. Jesus sends his angels to gather up his elect. So I have a strong hunch. That the red dragon is located. It's getting close to earth. It's here. So on November the 6th at 5.30 p.m. Maybe actually it was probably sooner. It was like 20, 30 minutes. About 5 o'clock. I called direct TV after it was pretty much over. About 20, 30 minutes. I had no TV. Zeroed out. All the sats were zero. Not a single satellite was receiving a transmission. And then about 30 minutes later, one of my satellites came back to 40, 40 percent, 37 percent. It was in the red zone. And then when I finally called DirecTV, I asked them what's going on. And they told me, um, I said, what's going on? A meteor shower? A meteor shower couldn't cause this. Whatever this is, is big. DirecTV has more than one satellite. They have multiple satellites. So it has to be something big. And I believe, I have a strong hunch, I found the red dragon. It's a dwarf star. Also, a dwarf star is like our star. We have a sun. Our star glows white. The sun, it's white. It glows like a white light bulb. A dwarf star is a red light bulb, a red, red sun. It's glowing red. And just like the scriptures say, this is going to be an unscheduled blood moon. The sun is going to be darkened. Amos 8, chapter 8, read the whole thing. NIV, King James, it doesn't matter. It's going to say, the sun goes down in the noon. 
in, in the afternoon, broad daylight. And I believe the dragon is located. The red dragon is coming. And it's really important that you know Jesus as your personal savior. He will save you from this red dragon. I believe all my might, it's going to be Christmas. It's, you know, eventually our satellite's not going to work. Whether you have DISH, DirecTV, I think even cable uses satellite. So this may have affected cable people. If you have like cable, your TV may have went down on November the 6th around 5 o'clock for like 20, 30 minutes. So um, basically, time is up. The Red Dragon, I believe, I have a strong hunch, it's located. Accept Jesus into your heart as your personal Savior. And he will save you. He's coming. There's a dragon on its way, a red dragon. And I believe it's a dwarf star. A while ago, I heard a rumor about a, a, um, a dwarf star coming towards Earth. Also, let me know. This explains also. Also in the comment section, let me know if you're experiencing warm weather. Where I live at in the United States, it's warm. By this time in November, we should be freezing. We got a cold front coming in, but our weather has been awfully warm, like 70s, 80. So let me know. And it also, we've got two suns. We've got a regular sun and a dwarf sun. It explains why it's so hot. And it really explains what's going on, that this is coming. And nothing can stop it. It's, it's here, Revelation 12. The child... The red dragon tries to devour the child the moment it's born, and God snatches it to his throne. God is coming to get us. Jesus is coming to get us, in Jesus' name. He's not going to let the dragon devour us. He snatches us up to his throne. Jacob's trouble is about to begin, and time is out. Ask Jesus into your heart as your personal Savior, and he'll save you from the red dragon. They won't be able to harm us. We're going home. The angels are coming to get us. Jesus is going to send his angels. And pretty soon, I have a hunch that your direct TV dish, maybe even cable, you won't be able to watch TV. Because as it gets closer, it's going to affect the TV even worse. And eventually, satellite won't work at all. Of course, direct TV, I mentioned a meteor shower, and they said, oh, maybe it's a meteor shower. They act like they didn't know what was going on. But I have a strong hunch, it's the red dragon. And I don't think if you check Stellarium or any program, you're not going to be able to see this. It's glowing red. You would need very special software to see this dragon, this dwarf star. It's glowing red. It's also heating our planet up. It's probably affecting our weather too. This not being hot, it might be causing the hurricanes, all kinds of stuff. It's, it's, it's time is out. I just, I just pray in Jesus' name I bind up the demons because I know they're working hard. They're, they're working overtime because they're angry because they know their time is short. And I bind up the demons in Jesus' name that whatever they try to do against God's children, they won't be able to to do anything with the people. The people that try to come against God's children, in Jesus' name, I bind up those demons because our war is not against flesh and blood. It's against powers of darkness, principality, stuff we can't see. The angels are fighting a battle for us. They're, they're protecting God's children. So I just bind up the demons in Jesus' name, whatever they try to do, through all God's children, throughout the whole world, that it will not work and they will not be able to harm God's children. They won't be able to influence the evil people to come against God's children. I bind them up in Jesus' name that it won't work in Jesus' name. And in Jesus' name, let your kingdom come, let your will be done. Remember Christmas. Get to the midnight, midnight hour, Christmas, when Israel turns the 25th of December. Christmas Day, midnight hour. Figure out whatever time it is 
in your zone. Mine, it'll be Christmas Eve, the 24th, at 5 p.m. And by Christmas morning, there'll be no kids to open the gifts. I know everyone thinks this is so far-fetched. We always or assume that it would be God's feast, the seven feasts. Three of them haven't happened. But in Leviticus 23, those feasts were given to the Jews. They're God's feast. Amos 8. Their feast turns into weeping. Their feast. Not God's feast. And also you have to consider this. The seven feast God gave, his feast, he gave those to Israel. See, he gave those to the Jews. We're Gentiles. So this makes perfectly sense. See, also if you go to Psalms um, 90, I've pondered this and thought about this. It says a generation is 70. If you have the strength, it's 80. But in troubling times, then we fly. Well, Jacob's trouble. Israel's turned 70. Now they've got to go through Jacob's trouble. They're going to experience troubled times. It's almost like Psalms 90 is talking about a generation of 70. And then... In troubling times, it's 80. So seven years from now, Israel will be 77. But it's going to be troubling times. It's just, think about it. And then we fly. Of course, most people say, well, it says fly at the end. But I think because the Jews were first, the Gentiles were last. So in the end... The Gentiles will be first and the Jews will be last. It's all coming together. So I have a strong hunch I've located the red dragon. Put in the comment sections of your comments. Let me know what country you're in. Let me know if your direct TV dish, whatever satellite TV you have. Or shoot, even if your satellite internet went down. Let me know. Because my direct TV went down November the 6th at 5 p.m. to like 5.30, and it came back on. Rain can't do this. Trees can't do this. It zeroed out every satellite. And my kids weren't happy because they couldn't watch their cartoons. So just let me know, and also let me know if it's in the comic section, if it's been hot where you live at, and if it's normal for it to be like that. But, you know, God bless show. In Jesus' name, I bind up the demons that whatever they try to do, it won't be able to do anything to God's children because I know the demons are working hard. I bind up the demons in Jesus' name. I command the demons to leave God's children alone all through the world that whatever they try to do to God's children will be powerless in Jesus' name. I bind them up in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you all. God bless you. You all need to know the King is coming. Jesus is the King of King, Lord of Lords. It's the glory of God to conceal the matter. One more thing I'd like to tell you. You see, no one knows the day of the hour is correct and knowing. Not knowing and knowing is correct. Because with a wedding, a bride-to-be on earth, at first she's given an engagement ring. And then she's given a wedding date. Eventually, at first she doesn't know when she's getting a wedding. An earthly wedding. And then she's giving a wedding date. And then she's giving the hour. Well, the same thing. Because being married on earth is a foreshadow of being married to God. And at first, we're given, is about being chosen. We're given a wedding gift, the Holy Spirit that dwells in us. And then we eventually get the wedding day. And then we get the time. Well, last year, 2017, the great sign, September 23rd, 2017, that was a great sign. And that was God showing us he's coming. Well, God bless y'all in Jesus' name. Have a good day. Bye.